that kind of a struggle struggle uh, to you know hold your own identity uh, uh struggle to uh, have choices in life struggle to uh, have the freedom to to behave mm. okay freedom to be uh it will it 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 kept on getting uh, you know question or 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 kept on getting taken away mm. those kind of that kind of freedom people don't do it purposely or consciously but they do it subconsciously because mm. they, that that behavior mm. is the behavior of the system but i want to know what you thought of the animal trailer book what did you think of the, the i don't talk about others this is the kind of man i have seen in my life ji yeah. my father okay but that is the kind of uh, um, woman i have was my mother so that's that is very natural for me so my reference to a man is uh, from my childhood is very different from all the masculinity that you've been talking about yeah. i was a little surprised at how warmly the sensor team the certification team sort of received it mm. and they loved the film and they went so far as to say that they we you made us feel violence without showing it hello everyone i'm rudrani and welcome to zoom speak easy my guest today collectively there is so much talent in this team i just want to say i'm talking to team jaram manoj bashpai devesh ruki ja i'm sorry but look at that collective talent here <laughs> hai na इधर इधर बहुत ज़्यादा है इधर लाइटर भी आई लाइक आई लाइक टैलेंटेड लोग इस कमरे में हैं नहीं देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ अदर टैलेंट्स इन दिस फिल्म इस बार आई 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 एम सॉरी आई नो यू बीइंग हंबल टैलेंटेड लोग इस कमरे में नहीं हैं आई रिफ्यूज़ टू बिलीव दिस व्हेन यू हैव पर्सन सारे टैलेंटेड लोग स हो जाते हैं अपने रोल में राइट मे बी इट्स नॉट पर्पजफुली बट अ लॉट ऑफ योर कैरेक्टर्स आर ऑल्सो कैरेक्टर्स दैट हैव बीन यू नो डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड अगेंस्ट हु डोंट हैव अ वॉइस ऑफ देर ओन और अ स्टैंडिंग अप फॉर थिंग्स लाइक दैट वाई इज दैट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर मनोज वाजपेयी और आई वॉज uh then you come to mumbai and you i you travel in local train uh and you were just amazed looking at the faces you at uh, 5 o'clock they are they are uh, you know they are leaving their homes and you know traveling to, to uh, traveling a distance to go to their offices and coming back uh, they are chopping veg, veggies for, for for the household in the train in the train uh, or the already newspaper or they are singing celebrating life uh and all you those faces always fascinated me those people always fascinated me they inspired me you know when, when you're going through your own you know selfish struggle um and you see these people who somewhere have surrendered to uh, to their destiny mm. and still you know have so much energy to to do it every day the things that they don't never wanted to do you know they always want they uh, everyone wanted to be somewhere else but they are they are left with this but they are still doing it and they are they are doing it with so much of smile so much of celebration mm. so they have been my hero the common people they these are the people who inspired me they always inspire me and these are the people who amazed me with uh, their unwavering uh, you know strength and uh, so when i'm i'm given a script by by all of these great directors i'm you know immediately attracted to it i pers- i also i personally feel that now is the time when audience is, audience is willing to see their own um, as the heroes even in uh, mainstream mm. they are they are they are crying for it mm-hmm. you know and who and this is the time uh, mainstream should find their uh, you know their 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 own hero coming from representing the mass mm. like mr amitabh bachchan yeah. okay so um, those kind of uh, films or those kind of stories they they always engage people because it is about them mm. uh, it's about the audience yeah. it's part of the audience and they want to see, they want to see their own story 
they want to see a part of themselves in that in that uh, protagonist and his struggle and his triumph makes me so happy to see that it's releasing in the theaters all right kyunki it is so fascinating that you're willing to put the bet on it again because you know what was happening for the past 2 years right. films like this were being which is OTT is a wonderful platform but we directly release it and they were saying you know a lot of people have spoken to me about how they say ek struggle hota hai kyunki wo kehte hai ki aap theater mein jaake pehle leke jao see how much they perform then we will see what to do with it and stuff like that i think it's it's so amazing that movies like oh my god who came in and sort of you know in between all the all the big budget action films it was doing well and it's and it kept keeping the hope alive that films with good content will still work uh manoj i want your views on this because you know it's it's really a big deal because then films that have been struggling to have that theater audience to bring back like you said ki how do we redefine what a hero for the mass audience is today uh so ye it's very linked to what i'm asking i would like uh, those to take it because sure i want both a, of you no there are so many aspects to it that we will only be able to correct there was you yeah. and then of course yeah. no it's a studio without a studio of the sort that z studio is it's one of the biggest distribution studios in the country it's impossible i've never had a theatrical release exactly. in my life in my filmmaking life and the fact that someone like manoj has cultivated an audience over the last few years mm-hmm. that almost didn't exist before and they look up to him and they will follow him blindly no matter what he chooses to do and for z studio to come to with manoj bajpai empowers a film like this to even dream of having a theatrical release i'm still pinching myself i can't believe that is happening So now I'll, I think Manoj. So Manoj, now you have to tell your part. Look, I'm. <clears throat> I had you know many uh, sittings with uh, Mr. Sharik Patel of the Z Studio about the possibility of releasing this film yeah. in theater, and uh, and also the the encouragement came from Bandar and how it performed mm. not only on uh, on OTT but it. it it went to theaters after ott after, after ott you know so and it was demanded by the audience yeah. it was not our will it was yes initially we were thinking of releasing it in theater uh, but somewhere uh, you know there was so, so many ifs and buts and so many other strategy that happened and then it went on ott but because of the demand of the of the audience that we were all forced to do this in theater and i had to do at least uh, 14 or 15 cities mm. just to you know take the film to them yeah so it was like really releasing the film uh, and it uh, from for me it was double double the effort first you are you know, promoting it uh, before it comes on ott yeah. then you are going post. going there then you are going doing the post It's like an album launch then a rock concert <laughs> rock concert too <laughs> so well put so that has given um, us a lot of strength that mm. that incident that has happened so there was a great reference yeah okay which encouraged us uh, for joram to release in theater and i'm so happy that uh, mr shadik patel and the team they you know collectively uh, decided to go in theater and because you know eight months this film not has even one single bad review yeah okay five content yeah. <laughs> it is amazing you know amazing. so that is uh, that is one thing uh, uh, and people have been putting uh, putting it up on uh, social media constantly in eight months there were so many articles r- written so many t- uh, tweets have been posted um, so many facebook uh, post is gone and all by the people mm-hmm. okay so the promotion was happening anyway and people are getting restless to mm-hmm. see the film now it's coming on eighth and uh, this is what i always say that we are going to do very few of the promotion yeah. the rest of the promotion this time i i'm really, really requesting the audience to take up this responsibility and spread the word don't go alone take 5 10 people with you okay and and spread the word and promote the film you know sometimes if if they promote it they spread the word because they have seen it in yeah. in, in festivals they have seen it in festival so you go ahead and send those people yeah absolutely yeah cinema right now this week you will have animal and samba be releasing mm-hmm. next you will have your film coming in this is so interesting is the kind of heroes and the masculinity mm-hmm. the way it's been defined 
um, animal we saw that it's a very different take on masculinity it is the popular masculinity belief jo logo ko lagta hai mard ki bhai bhasha kya hoti hai sam badur is again a very heroic tale churam is a heroic tale par yahan pe jo mard ki paribhasha hai wo itni beautiful hai through your character and that's what i'm i want to talk about right popular belief and absolutely so a lot of people would like to go to see action films and stuff like that but par ye bhi ye jo ek beautiful emotional side hota hai uh to being a man i think it's so beautifully done in joram which i want to compliment the two of you um about right <laughs> um but manoj i want your opinion on this ki that is why i am like look at the films and right. that is why it's important to discuss what what you're showing in joram right see I, everything came from uh, this gentleman here because uh, and also you know somewhere that's the common belief uh, uh in in the team Mm-hmm. who has been part of uh, uh, joram and also as people both of us are uh, are of of this of the same belief that you just been talking about okay there is a there is a very good scene and that comes in flashback mm-hmm. where uh, my characters is doing very less talking mm-hmm. when they are talking to the contractors mm-hmm. my wife is in the front Yeah. she is being aggressive and she is actually uh, raising few points very aggressively mm. but this this guy is yeah. not doing that he just he didn't behind his own wife mm. he's also man yeah. okay and this is the kind of man i have seen in my life yeah. my father okay but that is the kind of uh, uh, woman i have, was my mother so that's that is very natural for me so my reference to a man is uh, from my childhood is very different from all the masculinity that you've been talking about yeah, jo, you know that popular is, culture mein yeah, jo and that uh, the masculine culture which is there in the rural areas of the small towns and few of the a uh, few of the households in urban cities uh that is you know either it, it really depends what education you are coming from and what I'm bringing up for for me. I mean, what I'm bringing or coming from. Last mm-hmm. night, only I was talking to a few people in in my hotel room, and I said, you know, when you talk about feminism, feminism and, and women empowerment, mm-hmm. I sometimes, you know, I sometimes, I, I most of the time I don't relate to it because I I have only seen empowered women in my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, and so in uh, in uh, in our household is uh, is my wife or my daughter. They they. they dictate the rules and they dictate my life mm-hmm. okay and that is very natural i'm not even flaunting that no. because i don't even decide about their behavior it's mm-hmm. is them who's been yeah. uh, deciding about my life uh, uh, and and correcting me in many ways as a human being mm-hmm. okay um, i'll give you an example uh, we were uh, walking in la uh, on sunset boulevard and uh, my daughter was 6 years old and there was this uh, that some workers were walking uh, on the road and sure. there was this board which was put up there and men at work was written on that board and uh, my daughter and me and we were walking and suddenly she stopped and she said papa why not women why only men mm. why only men at work why not women at work i said uh, there must be no single woman there no i can see the one so so this is the kind of people i'm surrounded with okay uh and th- this is the kind of life dasru uh, dasru is coming from mm-hmm. where women are in the forefront or equal yeah. okay so uh and he is also a uh, uh, a man by any definition okay he absolutely he is. is somebody who is with, you know who's left with this child mm-hmm. and doing everything that any man or human being is required to do mm-hmm. to survive mm-hmm. okay so you can't define a man only through a patriarchal definition the moment you do that uh you are actually somewhere damaging the the next generation you are damaging the society or the fabric of it 
because you said that and i have to ask you one and wrap because that's really his that's his favorite thing you <laughs> must ask i will uh, i but I'll, because you said that i want to know what you thought of the animal trailer book what did you think of the the i don't talk about others okay. i'm we Fair are enough. only no because of the yours. masculine difference in the question not the trailer no, i haven't seen the film so it's, okay. it's, it's futile to talk about fair enough right. okay yeah. you brought up the subject of jharkhand the tribes and the existing issues that they have with the mainland problems and the militants that exist also within it it's extremely sensitive and rarely do this come up in mainstream media um when it comes to the tribal representation that they miss um i can see the movie and i know the excessive research and the sensitivity which you with which you dealt with it but i want to know was it difficult because i know that um you know you all have managed to get no cuts and a ua so and a ua and that is unheard of but were you skeptical a because you know we know it's very tricky when it comes to sense of work see you know if a film i mean at least the films that we have tried to make and especially this one we want to speak to the widest set of people possible yeah. because it's not like there is anybody in the city who is untouched by the so called development mm. that someone else is paying the price for it may not be spoken about widely in the media but everybody knows about it everybody has at some point read about it spoken about it has seen something uh, that a repercussion a repercussion of their actions everyone is aware so mm. the the whole point was to make it an emotional conversation through this film to sure. move people enough to think about our own unsustainable choices and so that being the you know the the driving force and not the fact that we're making a polemical political uh, you know uh, documentary ish realistic film that was never the prerogative the prerogative was make people ask themselves these introspective questions make it an emotional engagement sure. so when it becomes an emotional engagement i mean uh, yes i was a little surprised at how warmly the sensor team the certification team sort of received it mm. and they loved the film and they went so far as to say that they we you made us feel violence without showing it so they they believe that everyone in the country should watch this film so i wasn't skeptical we all hold out a lot of hope for this film mm. we've all known i think from day one that this film is something that can engage can emotionally move and the certification team was moved as well so i yeah, see a lot that's a very good very good indication i so <laughs> i see a lot of hope yeah. which we've always had otherwise a studio and manoj mm-hmm. and this huge team would not have taken a punt on a film like this it felt right felt like it will reach out you know the character here itself is going through his own struggles also through his own identity right. also right, right. at some points or the other he doesn't know where his identity should be and um, he's also struggling for his own thing have you ever i mean in the past i'm sure felt like you couldn't find your own space which you obviously eventually did and you are this one of the most secure people that i know was that one point that you could relate when someone feels even though you have an identity but you come to a new environment and you are a part of it and you're trying to make your space you feel like i will never be accepted i mean that is something that i'm uh, not many people have gone through as much as i have okay the uh, the journey has been not such so smooth this it has been he uh, seen he seen some part of my struggle mm-hmm. even after you have almost 10 years yeah so even even though you have a uh, you know certain kind of a name and but the thing that you want to do uh, you are you are not getting to do you you uh, either you choose that that you don't want to do but you want to do this and to do this whoever is holding this this choice is not letting you do this mm. you know so uh the uh, that kind of a struggle struggle uh, to you know hold your own identity uh, uh struggle to uh, have choices in life struggle to uh, have the freedom to to behave mm. okay freedom to be uh it will it 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 kept on getting uh, you know question or 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 kept on getting taken away mm-hmm. those kind of that kind of freedom people don't do it purposely or consciously but they do it subconsciously because mm-hmm. they, that that behavior mm-hmm. is the behavior of the system okay and that is accepted so if even if you point it point if you even if you say start uh, point pointing it at they will see that you've gone mad you've got crazy 
that you have a problem with this. This is normal. This is normal. Mm. Similarly, <laughs> it's so Rue, sad, right? Just Rue, yeah. Similarly, is that that's the case with just yeah. Bullying has been normalized. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's I think uh, it's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Uh, I will have to unfortunately wrap, but thank you. I'm sure by now you know how much I've liked the film. Yeah. Uh, I hope I've asked the right question. Yes, you have asked the right question, and you tried very hard not to reveal the story. I could see that I struggle. I, I because I didn't want to. I, I mean, I you gave right. one part, but I'm like, listen, I did. Uh, but uh, yeah. but thank you so much. It's always such a pleasure, and I am putting out in the universe and for you so much love and thank luck. For Jaram, I hope it really reaches everywhere. Thank, thank you once again. Thank you, thank you. Releasing on 8 December onwards in theaters. Please go and see. Rudrani is very good. Absolutely. And you go and see. And you will also see. You will also see.